Welcome to this video. We will be going over the new uh, Malwarebytes 3.0, which is uh, to replace Malwarebytes anti-malware. And the reason we are going over this is because we use Malwarebytes anti-malware in a lot of our videos. And here in 3.0, they changed the layout and interface. And so things uh, do look different. And so some of you may get lost or have questions or wonder if the program is still free. And so we will be going over all of that here in this video. I'm going to go ahead and start the free download right now. And then I'm just going to set it to open as soon as it's finished downloading. And then we'll go ahead and click on yes. And I'm going to go ahead and close Google Chrome and continue through the installer. And then we will go ahead and click on finish. Now for some of you, when you first open the program, you may get a message like this, and some of you may not get this message. And so for those of you who do receive this message and want to use the uh, program for free, you'll just want to select this middle option and then hit OK. For the rest of you, again, for those of you who did not get this message, you'll want to come over here to settings and go to my account and just click right here where, where it says deactivate premium trial and that will set it to always free and then you'll also want to come over here to protection and a few things that you'll want to just double check uh, first right here underneath scan for root kits make sure that option is turned on and then also make sure that both of these options say treat as malware for both PUPs and PUMs and then if we continue down, now again, if you're using the free version, you'll want to turn this off. Uh, for those of you who use the premium version, you'll, you will probably want to leave this option on, but we do not want this running in the background, so we're going to go ahead and turn that off there. And then that should be it as far as settings. Go ahead and come up here and click on the dashboard. And right here, it will tell you if it's updated or not. You can always check just by clicking right there on current, and you can see it checked. It's very quick, but the updates have applied it, and it is current. And you will always want to make sure you have the current version to make sure you have the latest definitions for the malware removal. And then once that's completed, we can go ahead and click on scan now. Now again, this will scan your computer for free, and then once it's finished, you will then be able to remove any malware found.